everybody. Welcome to ZOMG, our video game trailer reaction show. We're going to be watching the Hi. Far Cry 5 Amazing Grace trailer. We already watched the first reveal trailer. We saw you guys' comments. A lot of you asked us to watch all the character trailers. Uh, we don't have time for that, but I do want to watch this one. I do want to watch this one because it sounds interesting and i believe pamela got to play the game I at did. e3 so we'll definitely talk about that mm -hmm. uh but i think we should just get right into watching this trailer let's let's do this just let's buggy right let's do in. it wow. beautiful games are beautiful i know games are getting so ridiculously pretty it kind of makes me you know, a little What's upset. The line between real life and video well, I was just about to say, like, it does make me a little upset by it. then you go out and kill a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. But then I get over it pretty quick. <laughs> oh shit. I once was lost, but now it's super I'm creepy. Found. Oh shit. Oh gosh. Uh, that was it. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> they just wanted to set the mood. They oh my to god. Set the mood. Oh now, my god. Now, oh, since I did get some time to play Far Cry 5 at Yeah, E3, let's talk about it. Okay, so for starters, I was a little upset. They, they didn't allow you, and it makes sense. It was a demo, but they didn't allow you any time for customization. But you did get to spend some time with the companions. You had the male companion, the female okay. companion, and the dog. So you got to okay. choose which one you got to play Because this is something with. that's new in this game is you get to recruit companions. Well, I guess in the last game you could like have like a buddy every once in a while, but part of the game's mechanic in this one is recruiting people yeah. and getting new companions mm -hmm. to help you go out and fight the, you know. The baddies. The baddies. The baddies. The baddies. So you, got, you start off in the demo with the dog. Well, I, you can choose. I right. chose the dog because Boomer was the cutest little guy out there. And I also wanted to, you know, there's a lot of games out there that have a, a human or humanoid con, like companion. So I wanted to play with the puppy because puppy. Um, right. But uh, you're immediately thrown into it where you 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 look to your right and there's a guy curb stomping another dude. And okay. So my first reaction was like, oh, I need to I need to save this dude before he gets killed, but Holy you shit. can't save him at all. Um, but it's really cool because you can send the dog to uh, go pick up dynamite. You can pick up, right. pick up guns. You can have him attack, you know, to distract, to go like, oh, look over here while I shoot all of you. And um, and since he moves fast, he's not as quick to go down. But yeah, this is this is where you start out, where you like see all these people like, please don't kill me. And there's like snipers so this is the, this is basically the gameplay demo. Yes. OK, cool. This is the gameplay demo. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. No, ah. Right there. Right. there. Ah. You're immediately thrown in. OK, and wow. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, a it's lot. I mean, the game's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So when you play the demo is I mean, it. It probably looked even better than in a YouTube video. Can, yes. You know, it, can... I mean, it looks like this. It looks exactly like this, obviously, with oh the UI. Um, I, instead of going down there with my gun, I went up to the water tower and I sniped people. Oh, um, if you go up in the water tower, there's a, <laughs> there's a sniper rifle up in the water tower. So I wanted to, you know, sent my dog off, distracted them, sniped them, and then went down and saved dead people. Oh, God. Basically. Saved dead people. Uh, they were, they <laughs> well, died. They were a little, a little late on the saving they there. Yeah, died. yeah. It was hot in the demo yeah, room. Yeah. I was overwhelmed. I was excited. I had just played a bunch of games I was really excited about. So, yeah. So Grace was, Grace went up there and she's your sniper lady. Distractions and distractions. Oh, my gosh. But... Wow. So. <laughs> There's so many. Th I mean, this sounds like a really deep game for Far. I mean, it's very similar to all the Far, the Far Cry stuff so far. But this was one of the first, the new things we saw at E3 was the fact that the dog could grab guns, bring them to you. You can apparently train other wild animals, not just the dog. Oh, so nice. that's gonna be pretty wild. Uh, so, <laughs> wow, this is great. Yeah, it seems like all of your companions have really uh, great abilities. personalities and unique abilities to mm -hmm. help you out. Um, I think, like you said, you mentioned that you didn't get a, uh, oh my gosh, God, all this looks so great. Yeah. I cannot wait to play this. I'm so mad that I wasn't able to get time in to play it at E3. I tried every day, but they were so packed. I could never oh, get nice. in there. Shout out the uh, but 
apparently um, you brought up you didn't get to do the custom character creation, but this is the first Far Cry game where you're not shoehorned into a person's story as a like character per se. You're not you taking get to, on a true role. You get to create from ground up your character and you can choose your gender and or uh, race. And this mm-hmm. is the first time in a Far Cry game they're doing something like that, which I'm really anxious to see what that's like. Yeah. And apparently you're playing a sheriff deputy. So I like the fact that they're like, here's your story. We're going to give it to you no matter what. It's you. But it's you get to decide on who the yeah. person is. I really is. do hope they do have some fun with choices. Like if you're a man versus a woman, if you're black versus white or Asian or, you know, like. Oh, man, I like, hope they go that deep. Like it would be interesting because it is fun when games do take note of that and you kind of get a different story. You know? Well, it would be really cool to get the different story, but I feel like they're already bridging that gap of the, oh my gosh, are they going too far? Yeah. So if, 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 could they truly make a different experience? Like for say, if it was someone that was black yeah. and then people are like, oh, that's, that's fucking racist. That's, yeah. you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. So I think there's enough hype around this game that I, I hope for their sake, not for our yeah. gameplay sake that they, don't do that because I I want to just well, enjoy the gameplay. Right, I know. I get that, but I usually I get when people when people are uncomfortable. It's like that's cool because you are experiencing that in a video game. Yeah, that which someone experiences all the time. Well, speaking of that, uh, the the writer on this game is Drew Holmes, who is no stranger to controversy. It's the writer of Bioshock Infinite. Oh yeah, and there were some parts of Bioshock Infinite that were made to make you feel extremely extremely yeah. uncomfortable and you know to the point that people were accusing him of being racist for the things he was showing through yeah. his writing happening to black people in the game he was claiming that he was trying to make a point yeah um but it made people uncomfortable very uncomfortable in that game so he's not afraid to yeah. go there yeah and that's the crazy thing about mediums too is like that shock of like where not only do you have to see it happen but you get put in the point of view and i did like that like right when you start bioshock infinite you have a choice whether you're gonna throw something at the couple or not and it and yeah i think the yeah. one thing that people you know did kind of get annoyed by which which was reasonable is that it just never really had an effect it was gonna right you can choose way. to save them and it makes you feel better yeah. but their outcome doesn't change yeah but i actually thought that was kind of the genius yeah, in the writing exactly where it's like that's how it is sometimes it's like no matter what you do it's it's a shit sandwich <laughs> um see <laughs> shit sandwich guys okay. I, I i just by saying that i've infected that <laughs> oh e3 infected me you didn't e3 infected me yeah yeah well i'm still extremely excited uh there was a lot of media at e3 about far cry 5 how did it feel playing it did it feel good did it, it control actually, tight it felt really smooth like okay. uh, a lot of a lot of the times when you have to spend time sniping in any first or third person shooter it doesn't feel smooth it doesn't feel right like it doesn't i, I don't i don't feel as immersed i'm like oh i'm playing a game where i'm sniping the sniping was really good and like i said i spent most of my time sniping so i didn't spend uh, any time in melee or anything like that cool. but everything felt really smooth and fluid and that's what i need to not take me out of a video game so awesome. i liked it i enjoyed it i'd play it well uh we we heard you guys comments last time let us know what you think in the comments below if there's anything you saw here or anything that pamela said that's got you more hyped for the game or anything that we've talked about that's made you a little lukewarm on it i don't know i'm still extremely Extremely excited. It's coming out in 2018, uh, February 27th. They've set a date. So February 27th of 2018. We still got a long way to go. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more and hearing a lot more about this. So let Happy us know what Valentine's you think. Valentine's Day present. Yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> actually your Valentine's Day. It comes day. out a day after my birthday. So uh, go Perfect ahead. Go let's get you an early yeah, copy. Yeah, we'll get yeah, you an yeah, early yeah, copy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Smash that, uh, Some red, that donate button. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure to check out our other Z- uh, ZOMG videos and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.